breaking at five now. NASA says we are a go for launch ahead of this weekend's historic Crew-1 mission. The Falcon 9 rocket with the Dragon on top is now at the pad. And within the past 90 minutes, we've learned tonight's static test fire has been delayed by a day. NASA began its flight readiness review teleconference with NASA leaders not long ago. New 6's James Barbero has been listening in and has more from Brevard County. Falcon 9 and Dragon Resilience in the launch position at pad 39A. NASA says the Crew-1 astronaut mission just passed one of its final major reviews and is still on target for liftoff Saturday night. However, a couple other final preparations will slip. Before launch, Falcon 9's engines need to perform well in a hot fire test. We're paying very close attention to the static fire, now scheduled for Wednesday, because NASA says two of the rocket's engines were recently replaced, following engine concerns across the Falcon 9 fleet. Also being delayed, the astronauts' rehearsal run of launch day. That starts with leaving their crew quarters in their spacesuits, just like Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley did ahead of the first SpaceX astronaut launch back in May. Now the Crew-1 team is planning the dry run on Thursday. Very important step to, to get everybody ready, make sure we've kind of checked out the whole process. The astronauts get suited up, head out to the pad and actually get in the Dragon. Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker and Soichi Noguchi say their crew is confident in the ability of the launch teams to assure all systems will be ready for liftoff. The crew arrived at Kennedy Space Center Sunday. It is so exciting to be here. Final preparations before the astronauts can fly Saturday night also include what's called a launch readiness review. Again, the flight readiness review was completed today. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.